Okay, so we've all been there. We have these elaborate plans that we've made and we're gonna let our parents know if you're still living with your parents now or back when you used to live with your parents, you're gonna let them know about your plans because you're a good kid like that. So you tell your mom, Sally and me are going to the mall and you're about to continue your sentence and your mom decides that it's super important to interrupt you to say, no, Sally and I are going to the mall. And you're like, you know what, mom? No one told you to come with the grammar police. I was just telling you my plans. I will stop telling you my plans from now on if that's what you want. And then a whole like chaotic thing ensues and you never end up getting to go to the mall. So to save you from that kind of scenario ever happening again, I have decided that I will let you know when to use someone's name and I and when to use someone's name and me. There actually is a time when you can say someone's name and me. It's allowed just in certain instances. And that's why I've made this vlog today on the Larissa Benfi vlog for people who want to write and speak good and want to learn how to do other stuff good too. So this all started a couple of days ago when um, a couple, I think two different people at two separate places who didn't know each other asked me about the person and I rule. And so I figured it's time to share everything with the world so that you can all tell your mom when they're wrong and you were supposed to say person and me but usually your mom is right so here we go if you are going to do something and you would just say I am going to the store so you would use I and you're gonna throw someone else in there because they're gonna join you you just say Sally and I are going to the store so whenever there's an instance for you to use the word I like, I don't think that's such a good idea. Sally and I don't think that's such a good idea. Anytime you'd use I, that's when you use this sentence. But, and you might guess this now, if you ever need to use the word me in a sentence and you're throwing in a friend with you, then you say someone and me. So um, you would say that book belongs to me or that book's book belongs to Sally and me. That's all it is. It's actually a really simple concept that your mom understood but never actually felt like sharing with you why she always corrects you. She just wanted to always correct you without ever giving you just the simple concept so that you never have to be corrected again, which is why I'm here. So just remember, are you going to say I in your sentence or are you going to say me? I am going to the mall, that belongs to me. Sally and I are going to the mall. That belongs to Sally and me. That's all you have to do to remember. And your mom will never get into that spat with you again. So thanks for watching the Larissa Benfi vlog for people who want to speak and write good and want to learn how to do other stuff good too. Tune in next time for me to give you more grammatic facts that you don't really need to know, but I'm an English major and I can't use this major for anything else in the world, so at least let me impart some of my knowledge onto you. See ya.